welcome our colleague breast surgeon, Dr. Christy Funk, joins us. Welcome. Thank you. The is in the house. Hi, Dr. Q. And Dr. Favorite. B. So this is a digital age that we're all living in. That's no news, but constant news, constant information. How do you ever decipher what's real versus what's fake when it comes to the stories that you come across each and every day? More than 60% of Americans get their news from social media sites these days, particularly on Facebook. But could that article you're reading and sharing with friends be fake? Turns out millions of people read and post fake news or propaganda on social media without even knowing. Can you tell the difference between the real and the imposters? We're now going to put your knowledge to the test co-host. Uh-oh, quiz this. time. <laughs> so I'm these my number two pencil here. Right. These are headlines, and I know whether or not they are real or fake, but you all Don't, have no do idea. not necessarily know. So first headline is this. Cashews are natural antidepressants. The claim is that cashews can naturally elevate mood because they contain substantial amounts of tryptophan. Real or fake, Docs? Fake. I'd say fake. True. <laughs> it's fake, Drew. <laughs> Cashews, hey, they're, they're wonderful as far as overall health, but tryptophan, that's long been misidentified as a substitute for antidepressants, but it is not a valid treatment. This next one, let's reveal whether this one is real or fake. It reads, alcohol for weight loss. Fake. That's the headline, real or fake, Docs? True. Fake. I'm gonna say no. True. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you, Dr. Funk knows this. Alcohol, yes, can be very dangerous, but in a study in the archives of internal medicine, this is a, year, a few years ago, it found that women who had one or two alcoholic drinks a day, they were less likely to gain weight than non-drinkers. And what the researchers suspected in this study was that long-term moderate drinkers, moderate drinkers, they metabolized alcohol differently. The key was moderate what drinking. What does moderate mean? Two. One to one to two at most. Are we done? <laughs> Do we have any facelift, nose job questions? Okay. <laughs> Liposuction okay. questions? Drew, you are an ear, nose, and throat doctor as well as a plastic surgeon. Yes, so I how am. about this headline? Chocolate stops coughs, real or fake? <laughs> I love, but this is, this is completely getting to my point. Chocolate stops, Which yes. is you never know. True. True? Chocolate has methyl xanthine <laughs> in it. I... That's a stretch, I would say. <laughs> if docs are having this much trouble, I can false. only imagine. <laughs> false, false, true, boom, Drew. Ah. This is real. Yeah. Of course, you won. You had, you had two out of three. No, I'm we've, just, we've got I'm one more, happy. but the a European study got one. And actually second. found that patients who took a medicine containing cocoa had a significant improvement in their cough within two days compared to those taking cough syrup. The thought theobromine is an alkaloid in cocoa that may suppress a cough. This one's going to be the tiebreaker. Uh-oh. Human DNA found in hot dogs? <laughs> Real or fake? So this would imply, of course, that there's a human finger. meat in a Somebody. hot dog. No, false. False? Real? <laughs> Drew? For all the marbles, buddy. You're gonna True. False. No! <laughs> Funk my takes maybe, the win. I thought maybe from handling or something that even with precautions. Yeah, like, like the well, gloves. Here, here's, here's the, the reality. Cross. I can't say definitively that there is not human DNA in hot dogs, but the private company called Clear Labs that made this claim was they were unable to explain how the tests were conducted or how they arrived at their conclusions. In short, they didn't appear to be an established laboratory making these claims.